The relationship between Greece and Turkey is a tapestry woven with threads of shared history, intermittent conflicts, and fluctuating diplomacy. These two nations, each with a rich and storied past, have been locked in a dynamic that alternates between peaceful coexistence and intense rivalry. As we analyze the geopolitical situation between Greece and Turkey, a pressing question arises. In the event of a conflict, could Greece realistically defeat Turkey? The historical backdrop of their interaction is painted with centuries of clashes and disputes, from the lingering legacies of the Byzantine and Ottoman empires to the more recent scars of the 1974 Cyprus crisis. These events have not only shaped their present-day interactions, but also left indelible marks on their collective national psyches. The division of Cyprus remains a festering wound, symbolizing the deep-rooted historical animosities and territorial disputes that often define Greek-Turkish relations. This shared past continues to influence public perceptions and national sentiment in both countries to this day. In recent years, tensions have escalated. The Aegean Sea, once a cradle of ancient civilizations, has become a developing flashpoint, especially around areas like Crete and Cyprus. Turkey's warnings against Greek expansion of territorial waters underscore the fragility of peace in this region, a peace made all the more delicate by their geographical proximity. In terms of military capabilities, Turkey appears to have the upper hand with its higher power index ranking and significantly larger defense budget. Turkey's military, with its 425,000 active personnel and 200,000 reserves, is larger than Greece's 130,000 active and 220,000 reserve personnel. In air power, Turkey's fleet of 1,065 total aircraft, including 205 fighter aircraft, is more impressive than Greece's 635 aircraft and 193 fighters. However, Greece's acquisition of 11 submarines, in comparison to Turkey's 12, highlights its emphasis on enhancing naval capabilities, a crucial element for dominance in the Aegean Sea. This tactical move by Greece demonstrates its commitment to bolstering its maritime defense, recognizing the Aegean's vital importance in any potential conflict scenario. Advancements in military technology could significantly shift the balance of power in future engagements between the two countries. Economically, Turkey's larger and more diverse economy affords it an advantage in sustaining extended military campaigns. However, Greece's strategic position in the Mediterranean, coupled with its membership in the European Union, provides substantial support in both defense and diplomacy. This includes access to European defense mechanisms and the potential for economic sanctions against adversaries. Additionally, the economic interdependence between Greece and Turkey could serve as a deterrent to direct conflict, underscoring the importance of maintaining stable relations for mutual benefit. Both nations have been investing in modernizing their military forces. Turkey has been focusing on developing indigenous defense technologies and reducing reliance on foreign suppliers. Greece, on the other hand, has been upgrading its arsenal through international partnerships, enhancing the technological sophistication of its existing military assets. Greece's location at the crossroads of Europe, Asia and Africa provides significant advantages. Its NATO membership ensures access to collective defense mechanisms. However, Turkey's larger force and ongoing investments in military technology pose a formidable challenge. Greece's alliances, particularly within the EU and NATO, could be crucial in any conflict with Turkey. These alliances offer not only military support through joint exercises and potential troop deployments, but also political and economic backing. For instance, access to EU sanctions against Turkey could significantly impact its war effort. The delicate role of NATO, a primarily defensive pact, in a conflict between two member states adds another layer of complexity highlighting the importance of diplomatic channels and the potential involvement of international organizations like the UN in mediating such a crisis. In Greece, national pride is intertwined with historical grievances against Turkey. This sentiment strengthens public support for a strong defense posture. In Turkey, strong nationalistic sentiments often sway public opinion, particularly regarding territorial integrity and regional influence. A potential conflict could be triggered by an escalation in the Aegean Sea or Cyprus, Given the geographical proximity and importance of these areas, naval and air engagements would likely be central to any conflict. While Turkey's numerical superiority in military assets is evident, Greece's strategic position and alliances could significantly counterbalance this advantage. 
Diplomacy has consistently been the most viable and desirable approach in addressing the ongoing rivalry between Greece and Turkey. Over the years, both nations have frequently turned to negotiation and diplomatic channels as primary tools to de-escalate tensions. This historical trend reflects a mutual understanding of the severe implications that a military conflict would entail, demonstrating a long-standing commitment to peaceful resolution. Military experts often emphasize the improbability of an outright military victory for either side. Political analysts stress the importance of international diplomacy in preventing a conflict and highlight the potential economic, political, and humanitarian fallout of any military engagement between Greece and Turkey. A military clash between the two countries could trigger a domino effect, reshaping regional alliances and jeopardizing energy supplies in the eastern Mediterranean, with far-reaching consequences for global security. The economic fallout from a conflict between Greece and Turkey could be immense, potentially displacing millions and destabilizing the region's fragile economies, echoing the wider disruptions caused by the war in Ukraine. Beyond immediate casualties, a conflict between Greece and Turkey could redraw the geopolitical map, straining alliances like NATO and forcing a reassessment of global energy dependence on the region. Exploring non-military solutions, such as international mediation, economic cooperation, and confidence-building measures, could offer a path to sustainable peace and stability in the region. Recent developments signal a shift towards a more cooperative approach. On December 7, 2023, a landmark meeting between the Turkish president and the Greek prime minister took place in Athens. They agreed on several cooperative measures, focusing on good neighborly relations, open communication, reducing military tension, increasing trade, and resolving issues in the Aegean Sea. Turkey's vision of transforming the Aegean into a sea of peace and setting an example for the world marks a notable shift in their dynamic. The recent improvement in Greek-Turkish relations serves as a testament to the effectiveness of diplomatic engagement and the possibility of a peaceful resolution. This positive shift is a continuation of both nations' historical practice of de-escalation through dialogue, acknowledging the high risks associated with military confrontation. Military strategists and political analysts concur, highlighting the improbability of a decisive victory for either side and pointing out the potentially devastating human and economic impacts of such a conflict. The intricate dynamic between Greece and Turkey is a reminder that in the modern world, wars rarely offer clear winners. While the shadow of conflict may loom, the pursuit of peace through dialogue, international cooperation, and non-military solutions remains the only path toward a sustainable future for both nations and the region as a whole. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, Please show your support by hitting the like button and remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos.